we very much values the uh, the concept or basic principles of P4 members originally, but the first time we still had had a kind of agro protectionism uh, back. Uh, in the domestic politics, so, but uh, we finally very much decided that we should be more committed to free trade. And uh, well, especially, of course, the uh, U.S. Is, well, is the most biggest and most important market for Japan. But, and also we believe that Japan-U.S. alliance in any terms, not only econo economy but also securities, is a kind of public goods for all the Asia-Pacific members. So uh, we started with the issues of, as, as an issue of bilateral U.S.-Japan context. But in the meantime, we learned a lot about the uh, basic values of P4. And now the P4 values is very much identified our own value to keep continues to be uh, con continues to be committed to the free trade. So even after the U.S. is gone, while well, we even see the bigger value for it as a collective groups of the uh, free trade people. As you know well, uh, the TPP is the highest. Uh, reversation program for Japanese agro goods, and but still we have a further ambitions to continue to pressure the agro sector sectors to reform themselves so that we'll be uh, better uh, players for for the rest of the world. And of course, uh, Pacific members are very interested in exporting the agricultural goods to Japan, but uh, we also do appreciate they are maintaining the uh, social securities of Japanese people. So of course, naturally, the rational portfolios is uh, effective production at home, uh, safe and uh, stable import from the uh, reliable counterparts like a Pacific uh, Alliance. And fourth is uh, uh, innovations in the agricultural sectors. And that might be the, uh, the part that we can share the knowledge or the uh, research and development uh, with the rest of uh, our counterparts in the trading read. I think uh, China's in the meantime is going to appreciate the uh, positive pressure coming from TPP. Well, probably not TPP 11, we are not that powerful like TPP 12, but uh, China also has a kind of portfolio whether they should uh, directly talk with the U.S. in a bilateral way or they might be bene better benefited by having some plurilateral pact with the uh, rest of the others. So they have their own calculations and China says I think is smart enough to have some best portfolio among the uh, decision-making process. And, uh, well, I mentioned briefly in the presentations that China-U.S. pact started with the uh, investment treaty because U.S. is very much interested in the uh, U.S. American companies' positions in the Amer uh, Chinese market. And that's, if China um, can make certain settlement with the uh, pact, that is going to promote the uh, further Asia-Pacific uh, trade path. So we're just carefully watching the uh, process. But China seems to be at this moment so busy with the all the domestic affairs, and they have uh, very much limited interest on the uh, outside issues. So, well, probably it will take time. I think it's basically the very nice ideas to get together and try to enhance the uh, competitiveness. Uh, well, maybe uh, it should be better to cooperate more uh, further among the in to promote the uh, intra-regional uh, market. Uh, even though you are competitors, more than the competitors, than the uh, complementary kind of existence. But still, uh, if you look back the uh, experience like ASEAN 10, they used to be very much competitive with each other, but after the, uh, they established the uh, free trade agreement among them, the intra-market uh, has constantly uh, uh, expanded, and uh, they are benefited by that. So I think the exactly the same version 
uh, can be can can happen among the uh, Pacific Alliance or among even among the P4 members, like uh, establishing a brand of the very safe and clean and uh, high value added uh, agricultural goods because well many people are really concerned about the safety of foods recently. So you'd better be concentrating on to the uh, uh, logistics so the, uh, of the uh, agricultural goods, like a frozen one or the, uh, uh, the faster uh, deliveries or whatever. And that is going to prom need, that is, is to need more deregulations or the uh, harmonizations of the safety standard in each nation. And I think uh, if you can establish a certain brand, an image for the outsiders like Japan, Korea, China, that is going to very much boost your, your exports. So I think it's a, that's what the ASEAN leading countries has been doing so far and uh, uh, I think you'll be benefited by being connected with the uh, uh, Asian countries.